Oh, you know that go spell in a bam bag. JC Sacco, Postal 100%. Uncle JC Sacco, you need miracle. Alright, you need miracle. What's in the Vijana? My youth man get to. What's in the Vijana? JC Sacco, you need miracle. What's in the Vijana? JC Sacco, you need miracle. What's in the Vijana? JC Sacco, you need miracle. JC Sacco, you need miracle. JC Sacco, you need miracle. Happy Madaraka Day. How are you this lovely Sunday? I hope you're good. My name is Stefanietta and of course I'm a new face to this show but not in Y254. I'm here to sit in for Miriam Masava and Nick the DJ. They're out today. You know it's a holiday and you know we can do some changes. And I'm um, delighted to be here today because it's going to be an amazing amazing show for you uh especially because we're going to talk about uh unsung heroes we're going to talk about our independence and we're going to, to see how even um jesus comes in through that and with me for this very interesting conversation are two amazing guests i will just introduce them the first one is uh, Tiana, Tiana Nabi, she's a gospel artist and she'll be telling us uh, more about herself. Right next to Tiana is Jaco War, he's the founder and executive director of Transformers Organization in Madhari and he's going to tell us, of course, what he does there. So let me start with you, Tiana. Hey, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm okay, I'm so very okay. Great. Having me on your hot seat. Uh, welcome, most welcome. It's a very hot seat. Yeah. It's not that hot. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's it's a very warm. it's a very we warm seat, rather, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. So tell yeah. us who's Tiana. Okay, Tiana Nabi is a Cameroonian, uh, an artist, a fashion designer, a teacher by profession, and uh, to to me, music is everything. Mm -hmm. Music could be gospel, it could be societal. It all depends on the theme uh, of which you are singing from, mm -hmm. and. Uh, at least let people in the society be able to communicate through your music and you know bring in what you're singing all right what do you about the lyrics okay where do you come from i come from cameroon from the anglophone speaking section uh, -huh. uh Bamenda, to be more precise mm -hmm. yeah all right English great speaking. great to have you let's get to you jack hey, thank you so much um my name is jack or mm -hmm. um many things in one Tell us about those many things. <laughs> First of all, I'm an I'm entrepreneur, I'm a philanthropist, and I'm a, soft, I'm a software developer. Okay. Yes. This uh, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and software developer. Yes. Okay, interesting. Um, now, before we get to all that you do as, as you, today is uh, Madaraka Day in Kenya, now that you are a Kenyan. Uh, tell us, what is it? that is special about this day to you? Uh, as a Kenyan, I would say Independent Day or Madaraka Day would be a moment that we, we get ourselves where we, get, we got uh, independent. And I would like to see, people need to remember where have we come from and what have we achieved as, as a nation. And based on what we, we can say, we've learned a lot. At the same time, we've also missed a lot. Aha, uh -huh, great. I'm um, just being corrected. My goodness, it's Mashuja Day. Yeah, Mashuja. <laughs> yeah, Mashuja. It's a hero's day. Hero's day. I've, I've interchanged the two. It gets confusing, honestly, sometimes. <laughs> Today is Mashuja Day, and uh, so we are celebrating our Shujas, right? Yes. So who's your Shuja? Mashuja would be my mom. Your mom? Yes. Why, why is it your mom? Um, it's a good story. Even the Transformers you just speak, uh, you spoke about, uh, I formed it because of my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom died on the, on the 28th of August 2000. Sorry. And our, my last, our last born Winnie died on, 20, on 27th uh, August 1999. Mm -hmm. They passed on because of HIV and AIDS. Oh. And that's why I formed Transformers Madari Organization mm -hmm. to reduce stigma and to give a, a girl child a, a living in memory of these special people in my, in my life. So if I see, they're my shuja, 
That's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing the, all this I do in Madari because of them. So wow, much, yeah. amazing, amazing. So that's uh, the story behind the transformative that's the inspiration behind, the, yeah. yes. behind it. All right, let me, let me ask you, Tiana. I know you're not Kenyan, you're Cameroonian. <laughs> but <laughs> what, yeah. what, what is the significance of having uh, such a day to celebrate uh, Shujaz? Shujaz is the heroes. Uh, oh, it's the heroes. Kenyan word for heroes, yeah. yeah. Do, you have, do you have a holiday such as that yeah, in your we country? Do. We do. Mm. We do have holidays, although at times we are fixed some because of uh, personal reasons. Uh, yeah, we do have some big powerful days because uh, we want to put memories into ourselves. The people we've upheld, you know, we uphold in our society, someone like Ngano, Ngano mm. Francis, and uh, I don't know if you know him, like the heavyweight champion. Yeah, Lena, yeah. It's of Samuel Etofis, you know, they've done great things and uh, we uphold them in our societies and uh, in our society, sorry, and we really wish uh, people out there could know that we uphold them because mm -hmm. our community, where we come from, such things, I really value the way he's, he talks. Mm -hmm. Like what he's saying right now, it makes me feel like, wow, so you people really have a day for that. Yeah. We just affix those days. Okay. It's not as if the government really give those days to us. No, we just But you put just them. put them there. We just put them in place and automatically we understand the days. Uh-huh, yeah. all right. When they come forth, we just go through the wind. All right, yeah. I think that's, that's fairly okay also because mm -hmm. it's are celebrating knowing that whether they've put a day or not yeah. as long as you're celebrating it in your own yeah. way that's yeah. fine uh let me go back to you jack so yes. you said transformers organization st uh, started or the reason behind it is because of your two heroes right uh who passed on because of hiv and aids and you wanted to do something to stop the stigma and i think you're also a hero because of that that makes yeah, you a hero in your you. by yourself so we celebrate you today and in mashuja day so transformers organization what is it that you do to make sure that the stigma ends <coughs> thank you um i think you, before even telling us what we what we do why did i form it i just told the reason mm -hmm. so i told you at um, i didn't even say it uh, in my in my in high school after i, I went to a seminary that i mean that i wanted to become a priest so after graduating, you wanted to be a priest. Yes, interesting. And I uh -huh. got myself to the university. I did philosophy and theology, but when I was uh, in theology, after completing my theology, I was almost going to the priesthood. I was told, "Bro, you can't make it." I was, I was, I was taken back to the village. So I started. I felt, "Oh." Then from the village, I got myself in Nairobi, and where I get myself with a de two degrees in the slums, and having seen all this happening, I just remember my mom. And I said, these girls and boys, you know, what they're doing, the slums are not right. Let me start an organization. Just transform their mind. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's why I started Transformers in 20, 2019, registered as CBO. And what I did first, I was just making them come and sit down, talk to them about HIV, the stigma, and it was about just giving them food. And that was not enough. And I said, let me start starting a program. I started with just training them on cartelering, so they're making good uh, uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. We are now making a lot of clothes, and then I have a, a workshop for, for those who are doing carpentry. I have a fully played work workshop. And within this, on 20, during COVID, I was able to get a scholarship to do now uh, software development. I was in Moringa School for <coughs> eight months. Mm -hmm. So I started pure, I'm a, a full stack developer, so I develop applications, a, a website. You know. So in that regard, I said, I've also learned something in, in coding. Let me start coding. So every Saturday, like yesterday, I mm -hmm. have uh, ten uh, f uh, ten students. So four are ladies and, and um, six are, 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 are young youth who are boys. So I train them on, on basic coding, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Python. That's what I do in, in this organization in the slums of Nairobi. Wow. I really love it because <laughs> you are empowering. You're doing such a yeah. good thing in the community. That's empowering them, not just giving them handouts, you know, something that they will go and then... Tomorrow there will still be need, but you're empowering them, giving them something that is even being sought after in the society today. Because when we look at how uh, the world is going with technology and everything, you have given them something that's very valuable, yes. that they can make something out of themselves. And I think that's really nice. So we continue to celebrate you again. Let Thank me you. move to you, Tiana. Yeah. Now, in your own capacity, how, do you, how are you creating impact? Um... Well, I'm a philanthropist and uh, I have a band, aesthetic band, and uh, most of the kids in the band are orphans, you know, so they're 
a band ten, yeah uh -huh. a musical band okay i call it aesthetic band like beautiful voice is a beautiful band mm -hmm. so i had to you know it's a way for me to pave way for upcoming artists in my country and make them you know know that music is not only for those who are on the street because okay. some parents we do know that some parents know that music uh, are for dropouts you must be mm. a drug addict before you do music. <laughs> mm -hmm. But music to me is the food of the soul and we need to feed from it. And uh, I believe that if you lead them well on the right track, their lyrics will be so enchanting and so uh, breathtaking for people to also want to listen to young stars sing. Mm -hmm. It's not just going to be a banger, you know. So I had to pick them up. I had to hand pick them up from a competition. And I was uh, a jury. I was part of the jury. And uh, doing my own little way, I had to pick them up and before knowing either most of them were orphans without me knowing and you know is uh to me music is a source of escape mm -hmm. if you know what music really entails into the soul you'll notice that whenever you're unhappy you listen to music it's, it's, it, it, it calms you down mm -hmm. like it calms down your nerves and everything so it was just my only little way for me to make them escape the pain of losing out on either of their parents or both parents mm -hmm. so that's just the most i do for the underprivileged and uh, maybe orphans in my society and in my town. Wow, yeah. that's really nice of you. So we also celebrate you. Thank you so very <laughs> what much. What you're doing, to, you know, to to these young guys yeah. in Cameroon. They're not yeah. here in Kenya, but you know, we still want people, right? Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for people. real. I had to take off my shade so I should, you know, have a glimpse of the guy who's talking about what yeah. he's done to his family. It's really an applause for him because, mm -hmm. you, you know, um, to come up with such an initiative is powerful it's fr it yeah, really it's is powerful and change usually starts with us so you know yeah. when when people think of doing something yeah. they want to look at who's in the government the who's government should be doing this so right much. who's who's yeah. in the you know which millionaire should be mm. doing this but you can just thank start you. it from your own yeah. uh, personal um initiative as yeah. a personal initiative for you to start this mm -hmm. what did it take you know a what, lot. What, uh, what, yeah, tell a us lot. about it. First of all, as a teacher, it could it, it really helped me. You know, as a teacher, you have to teach uh, about 500 students. So handling just 10 people is no big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to bring in my mother figure because I'm a mom. I've got three boys. Okay. And, you know, so I'll be able to shape them as a mother figure, and a, as a mother hen. And then, you know, as an artist too, I know what the society wants, at least to an extent. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the plea from the society and you know, you tell them now what to sing and what to sing about. And all to me is about moralization. You moralize them in either way. Mm -hmm. Being a gospel, being a societal music, some people call it secular music. Mm -hmm. But to me, singing about love is no big deal. You can still sing love and you're still on track mm -hmm. without being vulgar. Okay. So to me, um, handling aesthetic band is no big deal. So many people are like, Tiana, how do you do it? It's yeah. only by the grace of God and the fact that I have the zeal and just the ability to push through mm -hmm. personally. Yeah, it takes a lot though. Takes Let a me lot. not just talk as if it's beans. No, it's no beans. <laughs> it's no beans, my dear. You need to put in a lot. You need time, patience. And when they are going naughty, you just have to calm down. If not, BP will just take you off. Yeah, <laughs> okay. no, no. So it takes a lot. No, but you it's have a whole lot. You've been given the grace. <laughs> God I've has given given the granted you the grace. That's it. If I really didn't love it, like have, have a passion mm -hmm. for it, I wouldn't go in for it. Okay. Yeah, and the guys are doing so good. I'm so proud of them. Wow. Yeah, I really am. Wonderful, wonderful. Let me go back to you, Jack. Yes. You've given, uh, just before we get back to Transformers and, and everything, you've given, when you're giving your story, you mentioned something about uh, you doing theology at yes. some point. Yes. And you, and you sort of did not make it. Yes. So why did you not make it to, to Thank become you. a priest? I've been asking, I, I that question always come. Mm -hmm. And I want to start with the stereotype. Uh, as a, you know, with Catholic training, if you go to, uh, you want to become a priest, people think that if you leave, you leave because there are three vows in Catholic. We have chastity, mm -hmm. obedience, and um, our celibacy. Mm -hmm. But mostly, mostly, uh, mostly they think that you go, you, you, uh, you don't, don't make it because mm -hmm. you, you got a lady, maybe pregnant, uh -huh. So they say that they, they you they say if, people say ah Jack left priesthood because uh, I'll, I'll use another bar, maybe a good name that he got a, a nun you know a Catholic sister mm -hmm. that's not the case it's not about celibacy uh, the most uh, I was I was um, I was taken out of the, uh, the seminary because a bit of obedient 
Because okay. if you study philosophy, philosophy is just love of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And with theology, it's just now getting to know what God wants. You know. So it's so much, you have a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. you know, if you have a lot of knowledge, you question everything. You be curious. And I was curious with my, my uh, formator. Okay. I was asking him, bro, you know what? Our doctrine says that after novitiate, mm -hmm. I, I have six months into in the, uh, the practice, then I need to be able to, to, to diaconate. Why is it not happening? So he told me, now, you are still young. I want to take you to DRC. I said, no, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit of obedience that okay. uh, got me out of it. And I, th I thought I've learned a lot of uh, Socrates, you know, I know a lot of Aristotle, and I was so much. And I learned my lesson, because from there, from the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the building in Rome, and then you become, the, tomorrow you're in Nairobi, mm -hmm. then you're in the village, you start from zero, and then you get yourself the slums, you know. Yeah. It's, it has been a journey, but I said, mm -hmm. I keep pushing. That was a, that's, it's a bit of obedience, not, not even the, the celebrity mm -hmm. part of it. Uh -huh. yes. so it yeah. For you, it was a matter of obedience because of, you know, your, your knowledge. curiosity. Yeah, yes, you knowledge. Wanted to, I wanted to, to, to follow the strict, yes, yes. And okay. I was, I, it wasn't going well, well with, the, with the formators. But I'm also, I'm also feeling the same with my team. Sometimes I give them a leeway to learn because I learned my lessons. Maybe you see, uh, mm -hmm. maybe ladies are in the slums, they, they, they're, or the boys that they want to be so much, uh, maybe you have to tame them. You give them a chance, tell them no. Sometimes you learn. Don't don't take things early. Mm -hmm. So to me, I said I didn't become a priest, a Catholic priest. Yes, but what I'm doing is kind of it was a calling. I didn't leave the the, the no. road. You did not leave. You're not too far from <laughs> what it was. But yes. you, you, is it still a desire? Or are you are now a no. family man. No, I'm now a family man. Ah, um, okay. Yeah, I have I have a daughter. Ah. Yeah, so I'm looking. I'm taking care of. Okay. the family but now priesthood if if my daughter would like to go to to become a catholic nun well and good okay and i would say i won't i won't deter her but when any when maybe she falls back i'll welcome her because mm -hmm. i'm i'm a victim of the same okay <laughs> you you'll give her the same uh grace yes now i think honestly we are all you know how how god how god calls us you know as christians because yeah. we're all christians here now, we, w we are told that we are a kingdom of priests and kings. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in our capacity, I, I believe that we are priests and we are kings. Like Melchizedek in the Bible. So that yeah. We are all born to be, all, all of us, we are born to be king and, 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 and rulers. Mm -hmm. But now how you take it is what, what depends. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. saying, even what you're doing is a service. Like what you're doing now, you're yeah. doing a service to the mm -hmm. community. And yeah. like I was saying, even you ca like now you're celebrating the Mashuja. You are doing something, you're a Mashuja, because not everybody has taken this to seat to, to even mm -hmm. have a, a chance to interrogate yeah. us. Mm -hmm. So you also are a Mashuja. So okay. that thing is really in you, so don't, don't shy away from it. <laughs> All right. <Except> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Wonderful. That's yeah, true. yeah. Well, now let me ask you, uh, Tiana, yeah. where does, um, you know, as even we're, we're looking at, the unsung heroes, mm -hmm. um, the shujas, because people are out here in the society and they're doing incredible works, yeah. like what you're doing, mm -hmm. what the both of you are doing, yet um, they do not feel celebrated, rather, or they don't think they're, they're all that, recognized. you know? <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, yeah they're recognized. not recognized <laughs> yeah. enough. So what does it, what would you say to them? You know, for, for someone who's in that patience, mm -hmm. everything takes time. It's just not a bed of roses for you to just pop up. Every great person on planet Earth took time. It, it's like you fall, you rise, you fall. The worst thing is for you to fall and stay there. Mm -hmm. So for you to fall is no big deal. It's how motivated you can be and you can become to rise again. And to uphold when you rise up is another big deal. Mm -hmm. So this life, it is just complicated. But now take your own roses and keep it. And when it falls, like it, it, it mm -hmm. weed us off, know that there's a reason for it and try to create more roses for yourself. Yeah. Because people can only praise you and appraise you for what they see you put on. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. And your society can only appreciate what and how you see yourself. Because mm -hmm. the people still have those... Uh, 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 you know, talent and gifts, but they don't know how to, you know, put it up. Okay. So it's just patience and time. Mm -hmm. Patience yeah. and time. Yeah. I saw Jack nodding. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I know because I've, um, I've, I've passed through that. You know, you are, we are all in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if I just jog your memory, in April, we had uh, a serious flood in Madari slums. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after the floods, we had uh, 15 people passed on that night because 
it was too much. Yeah. And after that, we had a, a government directive that we need to demolish 30 meters people was living along, along that river bank. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, people, a lot of people were, were displaced. And it was a time that we called people to come and see. Uh, you'd see women, uh, boys are not doing anything. I said, how would I hold? Because it was too much for me. Mm -hmm. How can I help the little I have? But I saw a, a possibility that wherever they are down, I told them just hold up, hold your, your heads high. Okay. And they held their, their heads high. Uh, they were demolished. Some went home, but still life is still continuing. Yeah. So we still believe that yes, it's, you, you can fall. Anything can happen to you today. Mm -hmm. But how you get your up and move, that is what, what happened to me. Mm -hmm. I felt on a single night at around 9.30 in Rome. And the following day I was in Nairobi. I thought I had friends, I had... Oh, you were in Rome at that yes, time? Yes, I was in Rome. I was oh, studying wow. theology in Rome. So, after that, things came and I started from zero. But I didn't take the fall. It was, to me, it was a learning curve. You need to learn. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I, th I said, I want to do something that will be good for a community. So what I'm doing there is just, as much as also, I'm also, um, it's making me happy, I'm doing something in memory of these two people that, mm -hmm. are, that I really love. Because if I see you, I see you, because maybe I see you, my, my, see, my sister in you, I see her, my, mm -hmm. my mom in her, you know, I see mother, mm -hmm. and that's what I do this thing. And, but I said, not all of us, you know, we are not only focusing on women, we also need to focus on, yeah. on boys, you know, mm -hmm. because yeah. it's kind of, kind of girl child has been empowered so much and mm -hmm. boy child is, is just down. Mm -hmm. So if you come, if you come now to uh, like in Madara with a car carpentry center, it uh, consists of, of, uh, of men, most of them are men. So, because they are all the energy, and mm -hmm. I tell them, let's do this thing. So, it's not how you fall, it's how you start. I started to transform with only 20 shillings. Okay. Kenyan shillings, that is, that is, how? That is, <coughs> it is an idea. I was there, I wanted to start this organization. But I only had 20 shillings in my pocket. I called my friends, let's come and start these things. And I told, I, I, I told them my idea. And in, 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 a, in a span of uh, three weeks, we were able to raise 5,000 for the registration of, of a CBO. Wow. My, my, I, in my pocket that day, I only had 20, 20 shillings. shillings. And do you know, uh, let me just, just jog you by bike. Mm -hmm. When I was in Madare, I came with, with a two degree, one in philosophy and one in theology. So we live alone the certificate I had in IT. So I, 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 my friend that who we were in the school with him, in the village, who is one who hosted me, he was a, a security guard. And mm -hmm. he didn't have a wife, I didn't have a wife. So he would give, every morning when he leaves to work, he would give me 20 shillings. That was for my breakfast and lunch. Wow. Because he was spending... We, we, 20 it, shillings it, is less than one dollar. It's less than a dollar. Really? It's less than a dollar. It's like two, two, two cent dollar. Yeah. So this was for my breakfast and lunch. In the evening, he would come with 50 shillings and then that's what we share. So that, that day, when he left 20 shillings in, in, in Australia, I said, no, let me think of what can I do. So the mm -hmm. idea came when I only had 20 shillings. Wow. Mm -hmm. But now I have, I have eight tailoring machines mm -hmm. that for the women. I have a fully fly, uh, functioning uh, workshop. Mm -hmm. You see? I have laptops <laughs> that, I, that, I, that I use for training. But mm -hmm. the idea started with only... 20 shillings. Mm -hmm. eh? So it means that if you don't, you don't look at where you are, just keep pushing. And I wow. hope in the, in the next few years or few months, we'll be able to spread our wings and get more people on, into, our, into our course. Maybe one day we'll reach in uh, Cameroon yeah. as yeah, an organization. You know, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> God just brought you yeah. together. For this. It ended well. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's amazing. And you yeah. told me out there that he's been to your wounding in Cameroon. And oh, okay. I was so happy. Wow. You know, at All least right. we can relate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pepe in, in their country. Yeah. Got pepe. 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 Uh -huh. Meals, too much pepe. Cameroon pepe. <laughs> I, I think I, w I would do well because I love I think I love <laughs> Oh, that, that's good. That's great, Sidney. That's so yeah. good. That Wonderful. Good. Let me ask you, yeah. Tiana. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, you know, when you're doing um, such amazing work, uh -huh. and I, I say it's purpose because mm -hmm. God has put it in you, right? Yeah. It's something that God can places in you and you do not know why but it just disturbs you when you see some wrong happening or you yeah. see that this should be done this when it's not being done that yeah. way right yeah. so for for you um how how did that calling come how did that thing um start in you for you mm -hmm. to say finally i'm doing this and yes. i'm not backing down this yeah. is my calling i love that question because each time i want to go crazy god <laughs> stay here. This is what I Come want and you stay to be. here. Mm -hmm. I rise at four. But at the end of the day, I've gone through my own trials and tribulations, health wise, mm. you know, my personal life and all. But it's only been God all along. You understand? And uh, I have this personal feeling towards people, uh, towards anyone. It can be, you, I can do you good, you do me bad. That's only your problem. Mm. Because God knows how it rotates the, 
the evil things we do, it all comes back to you. And we call it in grammar, karma. You understand? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, to me, I believe uh, the good we do, it pays off. And uh, when you're nice to people, and when you're nice to your community, your society, I think those are some of the, uh, the, the, the attributes of the Ten Commandments God gave us. Mm -hmm. You know, love your neighbor as yourself. Don't steal, don't tell lies and all of that. If you walk towards the path, I think you're walking towards, you know, your way, towards the right path, you know, leading yourself. And now, to me, um, I have been a, a ruffian, like, um, not ruffian, like mm -hmm. taking weed and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so okay. I don't do that. I don't <laughs> do that. But, you know, I've been keeping a company where if you tell me don't go there, those people are bad. Mm. I want to go there and see how okay. bad they can <laughs> be. <laughs> because I know if I counsel you, trust me. You and that's where I began to see I have that gift of talking. I can mm. talk to you and heal you internally, your pain. I might not. They always say if you want to talk to me, give me money. That solves my problem. Sometimes you have the money. <laughs> it doesn't solve your problem. Exactly. Am I lying? No, and since you have the true. money, you still sit and the problems are sitting in your head. Mm. Like, what am I going to do? That is not all about it. You need someone to talk to you and heal you mm. internally. So to bring back life. You understand? Okay. So I have that gift. I had it as a calling. So many of my cousins talk to me about it. My, my friends, you know, mm. good friends. And um, I can quite remember when I was in high school, some of my friends were smoking. And uh, I was a lone girl because I always left being around me. That's why we can relate. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> uh, God gave me three boys. <laughs> yeah. I have three boys. Yeah. And in my band, there are more boys. Than than ladies. Girls. Okay. So uh, the ladies will always tell me, Mom, why do you, because they call me Mom, mm. Mom, why do you love Brazil? Why do you love Lee West more than you love me, Stephanie? Mm. Why? Because these boys need love. Mm. They need to be loved. So I really applaud you for that. Thank you. It's a good one. Mm. You understand? So okay. uh, I think uh, we need to show more love and kindness to the men and the male children or the kids out there who are boys because they really need to be looked up to, uh, lo look after mm. because uh, they have this, uh, there's this, uh, thing that clouds your mind like you love the girl child more than the boy child now God gave me three sons what am I to do with them if not love them <laughs> you and love them. counsel them because yeah. if you go towards that path I've been there not acting like that but seeing what the men and the male people do and if you go towards that path you'll just do me for your own failure so mm. to me it's just been a gift okay yeah. so uh, and I've picked something from that you know for for people who are not sure what their purpose mm -hmm. is you know it comes from the gift that you have it's yeah. something that people even yeah. point out yeah. from I'm you i'm an extrovert so i easily Oof. relate you can easily yeah, relate I'm to an people extrovert. <laughs> yeah. I, I easily relate yeah but your energy must be like aligned to it's, mine it yeah. has to match <laughs> don't 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 come with your negative energy i keep you aside and you i go protect I, walk. Your space. I protect my space thank you sweetie i protect my space <laughs> That's it because I uh. don't want you to come with your poisonous energy towards my path because I want it that you know I'm a jovial person. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't go that way. Okay. Whatever the matter is, I just think it's God's path, and we need to work towards it because we are wired that way. Mm -hmm. It's not our making being on earth. All right. It's all by the soul hands of God. Wow, yeah. wonderful. Amen. I love that. Amen. And, you know, so it's the gifting that you had. It's the yeah. drive, you know, yeah. what that, that thing, that, that passion that yeah. you had. And mm -hmm. for you, it's even in, mostly in boys. Yeah, the mostly boy in child boys. Been surrounded <laughs> mostly in boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let me, let me mm -hmm. ask you, Jack, have yes. you ever, in, in your journey now, yes. because you've spoken <coughs> of the trials that come, mm -hmm. you know, your way, through it and have you ever thought of giving up at some point and if so then what made you not give up yeah there's a point in life that uh, you feel like giving up and sometimes you know example when i work now as a software developer sometimes i even sleep at one or, or two p.m I'm, I'm looking at the cards you know i feel yeah. why, why might i do it mm -hmm. because and i has a project like now um uh, i have i have uh, one other thing that I do also is a scholarship. I do I provide scholarship for currently I'm up at 40 kids who are, who are in, in slums, so I pay for them their school fees. And wow. I've gotten I've gotten like an application of 200. Where do I get Where do I get Ooh. people to support? I feel ah, how do I even start this program? <laughs> the, it is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But as much as I do it, uh, I keep pushing. I get myself. People just come. They say, ah, let, me, let me get this one. I was, two weeks ago, I was with a friend uh, who visited us in, at, at Mudurwa with the street boys, you know. 
they literally cried. Mm. I, and then from, I, from there, I know, people, we were just providing food for the street boys. They were saying, how, how, how human are we? The government oh. spending, let's say that we've looted one billion. If you look at the audit report, a lot of billions have been looted. But there are sick kids on the street that cannot even afford basic food, no. Mm. We said, hey, this is not right. I went to Dandora slums, uh, the Dandora dump site. A boy was just collecting um, very dirty rugs and just getting the food from the, from the dump site to be able to eat. Mm -hmm. I said, no, this is not right. We took the boy out and said, let's eat this thing. We, we are now trying to get him. Uh, I got it dad. We won't get him to school. Wow. Those are the things that makes me happy. It's not about the money. It's just the fulfillment that I see. There's a time I had 20 shillings. Mm -hmm. I would have given up. But now I have a little money that I am going to, I'm to do. Why can't I use what I have? To support mm -hmm. people, so I, giving up has never been my problem. Has never been. So I said this: if you look, if you come to, if you come to the organization, our our our, our organization, we have a, we have written some very good words there. Mm -hmm. so we said, um, you only lose when you give up. Yeah. Remember okay. this a, a thousand times. The, mm -hmm. the that is the, the uh, rich and soil. You only lose when you, when you give, give up. up. So when you, you give up. When you keep going, you so still remember win these. How many times? Mm -hmm. a, a thousand, thousand times. times. So the moment you, you you keep you think of losing. You remember that you want to give, you, if you give up, you you lose. You lose. Mm -hmm. So that has been my our mantra uh, at the organization. Mm -hmm. So we keep even if we fall today, we know tomorrow will be good. Mm -hmm. So losing up has never been our 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 our, our protege. So we're okay. looking at keep doing it. It's the lessons that you think. Yes, you don't yes. really lose. You've you've learned something. Yes, yes. So as long as you don't stay but down. No, but no, if you lose your parent mm -hmm. uh, at, at a tender age, you're in class six, you lose your uh, a parent. I, I lost my dad when I was three years. You know. Oh. So losing a, 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 a my sister, a, my mm -hmm. mom and a sister in mm -hmm. class six and seven, means that you are totally orphaned. Mm -hmm. You get from, from all the way from the western part of CIA, get yourself into Homer Bay, mm -hmm. then you are staying with your, your grandmom, and you are, how many kids are you there? You are 12 of you. Mm -hmm. So what can make you uh, to fulfill your life? You have to be very bright. Mm -hmm. And it's only education that made me who I am today. So mm -hmm. I had to give back. If, if I gave up on education, my uncle who, was, who taught me, who, who took my care of my school fees, we were we were me and his son. We when I started my my KCC, uh, KCP in, in two thousand, I got more marks than his son. But he started me told me my my my, my, my he called me my brother my my my, my, my boy. Mm -hmm. I want you to go and repeat. Maybe you can go to the right boys. But I'll wow. take you, I'll take your your cousin to form one. Then next year I'll consider you. I had no option. I had to repeat, but I had more marks than him. Nice but I said it's okay. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. And when I when I when I passed an exam in another exam, mm -hmm. he was able now to take me through. And upon completion, I was supposed to come and do laws in Nairobi University. But the priest came and said, "Yo, don't do that. G join 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 the university and uh, go go the direction of priest priesthood." I was quick to mm -hmm. go there. And I thought I'm going to make it in life, but to priesthood, I didn't make it. But now I'm doing something. <laughs> I think God wanted you to be here, of course, who would be doing what you're doing now? So somehow God redirects our steps. And I yeah. want to, 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 to throw that to you, Tiana. You know, what is the place of God? Because you've spoken a lot, you know, on God guiding the path and mm. everything. What is the place um, of God in all this for you and even for people who are doing transformative mm -hmm. things, these mm -hmm. heroes in the society. Mm -hmm. Us being alive is a, is a reason for us to glorify him every day. And the place for me where I think uh, I need to hold God high esteem is the fact that me breathing mm -hmm. is grace. It's a miracle. People want to see their miracles like having big fat bank accounts. My grace is coming from God and me seeing people, the people have tried to, you know, uh, take through the right path to an extent because we are all not perfect. Mm -hmm. I can be calling it the right path. Meanwhile, I'm also derailed <laughs> and derailing the children. <laughs> so what I'm trying to see here is yeah. knowing fully well that the right path is what you and I know, um, I think uh, is me thanking God for guidance, protection, mm -hmm. and giving me the wisdom to be able to uphold his children. Because had it been my mom, my mom gave up on me, I wouldn't be seated here. Wow. Because I was so nonchalant, but not so naughty. <laughs> but I was just trying to be everywhere, but nowhere. Okay. So I'm really thanking my mom, I call her Nana, for mm. her time, her patience. And when I hear him, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Jack, telling us that he lost out on his parents when he was way younger, mm. then I still need to go down on my knees and thank God for my parents. Wow. Because they are both alive, my siblings are all alive, 
Uh, I must have lost out on one or two uncles, but we still thank God for everything. And I think that's how God is in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, wonderful. So God plays a critical role. Yeah. He's actually the everything. Yeah, the everything. Because <laughs> if you were not breathing, then what would be happening? Look at Nothing. me. Wh who am I to be on KBC? You, yeah. We're talking about <laughs> facts now. You know. Uh, you know how many people want to be here? Uh -huh. I called it hot seat, but to me it's getting warmer now. <laughs> it's getting warmer, you yeah, see? <laughs> I think I'm finding it very okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's grace. Wonderful. It's grace. Some it's people really find it so hard, but mm. it's still grace. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. I want to throw the same question yes. to you, Jack. What, what do you think um, is the place of God in what you're doing to where you are now? And I have to be grateful for God because um, he, he destined that I was, I, was, I, was, I had to go to the training because uh, until today, I've, uh, maybe I would have been an atheist. Mm. And yeah, I, I didn't believe in him, but I also believe in what he had, has done so far. Because just imagine you being able to, or in, a, in, a, in your lifetime, yeah. you're able to meet presidents of the nations when mm -hmm. you're in Rome, you're able to sit down with Pope Benedict, and if they come, they come into your community, you sit with them, ministers, they're just normal, and a single day, you end up being in slum, nobody even cares, nobody mm -hmm. knows you. Nobody cares and that you, you are in Rome. Yes, are... they don't know you. If all your friends that you studied with all la leave you, if you even make a phone calls, they're not even, mm -hmm. you know, when, I, when, I, when you are out, if you are, you are doing good. good people, you have a lot of contacts, you know, you come, there, uh, you come back, you know, take a lot of poor, um, mm -hmm. alcohol, you know, you celebrate, but I thank God mm -hmm. that I, in all these things, I don't take, I don't, I don't, I don't take alcohol, mm -hmm. but it's by design. Because I was able to, I was able, I was in a, a place that I could be able to check this. Eh? Mm -hmm. But when, when my mom, before my mom died, mm -hmm. there's an uncle of mine who took um, a bed. You know, there's still, the, the still bed that we have. The still beds. Bed. Yeah, the beds. Mm -hmm. My dad, when he died, he left a lot of still bed. And one of these still beds were, were, was for, it, he took for, for our dad. And then he, my uncle, the uncle, just took the, 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 the small part of it. Mm -hmm. the, the, that part, you know, the, the, the longer and throughout the leg. Mm -hmm. So he broke it. And uh, my mom wanted to, to sleep on that. She mm -hmm. took the bed and we are not, we are all sleeping in, on, the, on the floor. The floor. Mm -hmm. And they asked, now, my mom asked my uncle, can you just try and get the, the bed so that we can, we can, I can sleep with, with my kid. I don't want to sleep on the, on the floor. floor. What she did, what he did, he took that, that uh, the, the other part of it mm -hmm. and hit my mom here. Because mm -hmm. he, he, he came when he was drunk and I was still young. Oh. I almost cried. I wanted even to crush the guy. Mm -hmm. But I, I told God when I was that still young, I was in class five, uh, class four, mm -hmm. I told my, my, myself, God, in life, don't allow me to take alcohol mm. because of what I see. If I take alcohol, I can kill somebody. Mm. So that's why I don't drink. And okay. if I do this thing, there's a lot of things. I said, God has helped me. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would be very worst. And if you look at what I used to be and even until today and what I'm doing in the slums or my projection I want to do in the village, mm. it's mm. just because God has been, has been the center of my life. Because oh. I've lost hope. I've tried a lot of things, mm. but he has guided me. And when I see, like, <clears throat> if I see, there's a woman that are in our first cohort mm -hmm. that used to go to Italy, you know Italy so well, mm -hmm. washing those clothes and in a month being given 3,000 mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a month. But I took this woman and trained her on on cap on 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 on, um, on tailoring, and now we mm -hmm. are selling our products <coughs> even into to, to uh, service center. At the end of the month, he ca he, she can able to get ten or fifteen thousand oh. of that. I've also sponsored mm -hmm. one of the kids, you know, going to schools. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Somebody who just started with twenty shillings. Satisfying. With twenty shillings. Mm -hmm. That's satisfying, right? Right. So as I say, there's a God that has able has able me to and be, be here. To even to be here, I'm 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 <coughs> here because of. Um, why not? There are people who would like to be here, yeah. but God has written that we meet you. Yeah. I didn't know that I'll meet yeah. her here, but mm -hmm. it's God that has. So I, I, I place God as center of whatever I do. Wow. I mean, this is lovely. Divine <laughs> orchestration. Yeah. God does for things. Real. <laughs> we real. don't for understand. Real. You know, and what is a place? Because when, you know, as even as Christians, yes. Christians are human beings, yes. you know, and um, unless you're submitted, then there's that. Mm -hmm you get to a place where you now take the glory because yeah. God, God is very, uh, you know, God is very um, protective of his glory, mm -hmm. <laughs> if we put it like yes. that, you know. Yeah. So if 
you know, you getting to the levels you've gotten to and you're still saying, this is by God's grace. I wouldn't have been here if not God. You know, some people say, you get to a place where you're like, I did this, I did this. You know, uh -huh. it's by my, yes, it's by your efforts, but mm -hmm. again, it's by grace. What, what keeps you grounded? What keeps you humble? You know, to, to know that this is God. You know, if God leaves me, this thing will fall. Mm -hmm. Let me give glory to God mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Let me ask you. So to be you. honest, humility is not stupidity. You can be as humble as whatever and still have everything. Mm -hmm. People just feel like uh, because I have everything, I don't need to be humble. I think um, the best way to stay unique is to be humble mm -hmm. because you tend to achieve a lot. But people feel when you are humble, you're stupid. I have this sister of mine, Jackie Bainey. Mm -hmm. She's so humble. But then people always think she is maybe foolish or stupid. But God always paved her a, a way for her. And, you know, everything most good mm -hmm. for her. She's Kenya. Okay. You understand? She's an artist and everything. Which, so her name again? Jackie Bainey. Jackie Bainey. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. B-A-I-N-I. Jackie Biden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from time to time you'll get to know her but because she's yeah. an artist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so humility is not stupidity. Yeah, humility. She's the most humble person I've seen. And uh, I think she's more of a sister to me if I were to be asked, who's your Kenyan friend? I'd rather say I don't have a friend. Oh, I have a sister. You have a sister. Because she's so humble, down to earth, and she's a gospel artist too. And her voice is so versatile and it's really so turned to the ears and I think uh, she's going to be enchanting to many people. So she's going to heal souls. Wow. Yeah. So to me, music, uh, it communicates. And uh, before you get anything, stay humble. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before you get anything, stay, stay humble. humble. Humility. Even the best people you know, the big, big, big names, big fat bank accounts. And, you know, trust me, do research. Mm -hmm. They're humble. They're humble, They're people. humble people. It's interesting when you, you, you'd meet people who are just rising or and their yeah. way and they want to be recognized mm. but you, when you meet some ceos you wouldn't even know that they're ceos That's they're very humble they're so much in the, like yeah hey, look at him you know who yeah you know? very simple <laughs> there's someone who has no platform personality <laughs> will be in tuxedo yeah they uh, want to make a statement don't look at me but i'm in my own suit <laughs> you're <laughs> but i'm humble <laughs> yeah it doesn't mean you yeah and good you just humble. you just do your style Thank you, you I'm know just doing my style and I'm you yeah. And stuff. yeah wonderful and maybe you will sing for us uh, before we close oh really yeah we'll get something <laughs> from you okay. before that let All me right. ask you jack yes um now again just the same question really the uh, how do you not uh let pride come in because for many people if you if especially if you're doing philanthropic work then you might uh go on to think i i am a very good person you know i I have helped this number of people. I've done this and that. So, uh, and of course, you'll get praises, you know, because people will acknowledge your, your work. But how does this not get to your head? And you think that now you are a god because you, you might almost get to a place where you feel like you're a god. Now, people mm -hmm. depend on you and everything. So, what keeps you uh, where you are? Okay, one thing that as a, as, a, as a person, whether you're doing what, as a person, you need to be, uh, I would say, I say humility, but I, need, I said you, you should be human. Mm -hmm. Human means mm -hmm. you need to have uh, a level of uh, understanding mm -hmm. above all that you accumulate, where is a place of peace in your heart? Because peace does not come with pride. Peace does not come with, with arrogance. Peace comes with understanding. You know, you, if you go to, if you, if you learn, if you, get a chance to read uh, Noel, Noel Munro's uh, book, Purpose, Understanding Purpose, it will tell you, you need to understand your purpose in life. Mm -hmm. So the moment you, you go to know what you, what you do, mm -hmm. do it knowing that this, you are doing, like St. Augustine said of, of, of Hippo, I'm sorry because I have to go back to <laughs> my, my knowledge. Okay. Of he said uh, that God help me understand, help, help me to know you, mm -hmm. for in knowing you, I know myself. Okay. So that is what drives me. So tell anybody, just tell mm -hmm. God, help me to know you. Mm -hmm. If you know God, you know yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. You get it? Mm -hmm. So if you know God, God does not need uh, like pride, just mm -hmm. being, being, uh, being arrogant, mm -hmm. no, being elegant doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. how, many people, how many people have, have, have billions, but they're just, they're just losing them? Mm -hmm. And me, I would, I would say what I've done so far in, in, in my life, I, say I'm, I still say that I am. 
and sorry today I was I went I, I went I went to put a, a suit I said mm -mm, most people know me that I just do this this is what I do <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's <laughs> normal yeah, it's me and as though, though where we come from we are associated with kind of those pedigree of, of pioneers but <laughs> my no, Luo, uh, yeah, there's, a, <laughs> a, a <laughs> like there's a community Luo, that associated okay. <laughs> yes oh, yeah. yeah we come from a, a, which are uh, with a lot of pride okay. but uh, having just look I was I was in a place that I would do everything but I just failed one time so I've learned my step mm -hmm. each and every step whether and I'm, I'm not expecting that even tomorrow people will praise me today tomorrow but ultimately i'm looking at my vision my vision is to be able to have mm -hmm. a happy healthy and a peaceful society mm -hmm. that's my end if i do that i'll be happy i'll be happy and leave a legacy mm -hmm. that somebody will remember yeah. that i did something for for, for the good, good of the humanity that was my okay. that i'll say okay so your legacy would be ideally you have done good for humanity yes that's the kind of legacy you would yes. want what about you tiana what legacy would you want aesthetic to live band. aesthetic I band uh -huh. they should go with me and uh, the idea of how i want music to be mm. you know because the society needs good music mm -hmm. yeah i think uh, that, that was the only because we are both philosophers that was the only means of escape to the bl uh, black slaves. Yeah. Go do your research, you'll discover that the best musicians, songs, songwriters mm. are blacks. Mm -hmm. Because that was their only source of escape, of pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So music can heal, it you know. Heals. And, you, and you, you, you said that when you were starting here. Yeah. Yeah. When people have gone through tough times, you know, you just put on some music and you just find yourself yeah. getting healed by it. Yeah. And you don't understand. Those words are, are being sung and you think they're singing to you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it communicates. It communicates. It has a way of, you know, perpetrating, uh, taking off pain yeah. from your spirit. Because this thing, we are spiritual beings and we need to go with the whole thing. And when you listen to good music, I'm not just talking about any yes. kind of music. Good music. You listen to good moral songs mm -hmm. with high quality lyrics. And that's why you have some good artists who only write without singing. There are some who sing without writing. There are some who are just there to look like you and, uh, and some other people mm -hmm. who don't sing, but they, they want to be critics. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Yeah. And when you criticize, some people feel bad. But to me, I feel uplifted because I know where I'm going wrong and how to, you know, be on track. Uh -huh. So music to me is everything. Mm -hmm. And ha as he said, uh, pride goes before the fall. Yeah. That, that, that thing is not the wrong thing. It's just what it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. we should be human and humanly possible to acknowledge our mistakes and our flaws okay. to be able to grow bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even with our titles and the levels where we are, we still go wrong. So it's that yeah, we taking, do. acknowledging that we are yeah. wrong and accepting correction that yeah. we are able to, to be better and yeah. move from that. It only depends on the manner of approaching which you are being told <laughs> you are mm -hmm. wrong. Okay. Don't come and tell me to my face what you have done is wrong and you are younger and tell me to your face, be quiet. <laughs> So that's, that's your nature, you people. It's different wow. from Kenyans, yes. <laughs> Kenyans. <laughs> Kenyans will, mm, will be a bit, no, a, a, a bit, will study you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you people just tell you, no, don't, you're going to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're very straight. I can remember the other day I was telling my sister that uh, uh -huh. I wouldn't look for a means of escape. I'm wrong. It's okay. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. escaping from the fact you know it's a, it's a lie. <laughs> You will just discover yourself finding another lie to cover up the previous lie. lie. And you're heading nowhere. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Lie on lie and lie. Yeah, yeah. You, you. So it is just a fact when you're wrong, admit and heal and see how you can, you know, find a way to garnish the whole thing oh. to be on track. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, uh, before we close, I just want to get your vision for what you're doing for both of you. Mm -hmm. um, let me go with you, Jack. Uh, you have been doing a lot. You have told us about now transformers and what you're doing to empower them in terms of uh, educating them coding and even now you're providing scholarship for others to edu to empower them in education what is your vision I would say my vision would be uh, as I, as I, I, let me repeat it um, mm -hmm. my vision is to have a community a happy healthy <coughs> and a peaceful society mm -hmm. that is that is the vision if I have a, a happy healthy and a peaceful society, it will be really nice. And bring people of goodwill to, to support the cause, because uh, they said you can't do alone. So we say together we can achieve this. And uh, just a reminder, you know, uh, and, and, and I don't know why I like St. Augustine. He mm -hmm. said that if you sing, if you sing, you know, if you praise God, mm -hmm. it's like you're praying twice. 
So if you if you praise God, it's yeah, if you praise sing, if you by singing you mm -hmm. praise God twice. twice. So you you pray twice. Okay. So that's also, a, yeah. yeah. You know, if I don't know that you've been to meditation, if you have those those songs, leave alone the kapupa. That, no, let me just don't say that. But there are some songs, the genre of some music that are not that, that are not therapeutical. Mm -hmm. But there are music if you even if I play.